Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. We're going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. So this reading may or may not be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Overall energy, please, for Cancer. Hermit. Hermit. So this is about going within and planning, planning your next move. You may need time. You may need to take a time out. You may need to take a time out to plan your next move. Go within. It's a time of introspection. Okay? Um, withdrawal, perhaps. I feel like you are going through a period of enlightenment. You may, If there's something that has been hidden, it, you may, it may be time to uh, reveal it. Okay, um, you need to you need some alone time. You need some alone time to go within to realize what you want to do. And I feel like this is the week where you do that. I do feel like you have somebody that is watching you as well. You may not be aware of it, but I believe that there is somebody that is watching you. They're watching every move that you make. Be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody could be revealing something as well. If it's not you, you could be dealing with a Virgo that is revealing something. This is somebody who is not going to hide anymore. They're not. They're going to reveal. I feel like there's some sort of reveal this week. Door opportunities are waiting for you. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. So you do have a new door that is opening for you. You have to plan. You're co coming up with a plan this week. And the only way you can come up with that plan is to listen to yourself only and take time to go within to realize what it is that you want to do. So what do we have for Cancer? Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius got this card as well. This one. Knight of Swords Reverse. So we have an untrustworthy individual here. Yeah, there's somebody here that is up to no good. You know, we may have somebody that is looking for a fight. They are insincere. Queen of Cups. You know, I feel like you may have gotten yourselves involved with somebody that is untrustworthy. Somebody may be wanting to prove a point of some sort. Struggling, they're struggling to let go. So you, you, now this is in the past, or it's in in your present energy. I feel like some we have an individual, and I feel like it's you. You're struggling to let go of something, trying to prove a point, or trying to stay in a situation. It's like you need to you need to find your ability to break free because that hangman is you're stuck you know you're stuck you're wasting time you're sacrificing yourself i feel like it's it's definitely going to be a very emotional week you're going to be analyzing things a lot okay there's a lot of analyzing going on thinking about your future thinking about what your heart wants there's fear as well with the knight of swords reverse you may be up against some sort of battle there could be a there could be an upcoming battle, you know, and you're thinking about how you're going to handle this. Ace of Wands and the Three of Swords. So in the future, you have an exciting opportunity to start fresh, to start with a clean slate. 
but it will require you to deal with some pain first because the three of swords is heartache it's pain and this is about taking action so I feel like this week you are going to be getting some sort of vision okay it's like you it is it's a vision you may have this this new vision and this new discovery you know that's tells you that you got to go down a new path, but there's some sort of heartache involved with going down this path. There's an opportunity that is waiting for you, okay? They're waiting for you to, to climb that mountain, you know, to, to deal with the heartache of whatever this decision is that you're trying to make. It's not going to be easy. It's going to hurt. This is painful, okay? So there could be a painful separation that is coming up, but you have an exciting opportunity to go through a new door, all right? But this is fearful, in no hurry to make this decision. So I think that you've been really thinking about making a decision. It's like your intuition is telling you that you have to do it, but you've been stalling, right? You've been procrastinating. You've been procrastinating because of fear of confrontation, perhaps, you know, fear of the heartache or not wanting to experience the heartache of, or the challenge of climbing this mountain, you know, um, so yeah, I feel like you, you've got a challenge that you have to overcome this week. And I feel like there is there is somebody that is waiting for you. They know they know that you're in the process of making a decision. You have somebody here that is watching your every move. They know that you are I feel like you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. I feel like they know that you're over or that you're analyzing things and you're thinking about you know what you want your future to look like so you've got somebody here that is that may start a fight with you for some reason so be prepared for that um ten of swords reversed and the ten of swords reversed is the worst this is the worst has happened this is uh something coming back from the dead, okay? It's problems worsening. Uh, now you've made your bed, now you gotta lie on it. I feel like there's something that is going to be revealed that really hurts a situation that you are in. It's gonna cause some sort of heartache or cause some sort of pain. Um, there's been a lot of suffering. Somebody has been suffering. It's not over yet, unfortunately, with the Ten of Swords reversed. This is feeling the pain. But this is also about liberation. It's about freedom. Okay, so I feel like whatever this situation is, whatever it is that gets revealed, it could uh, break you free because this is a card of freedom. Freedom from a painful situation that you have been tied to, right? With the hangman. You've been hanging on to this situation for some reason because you were somehow emotionally attached to it. You're emotionally attached to a situation that... It feels like it's been causing you some sort of pain. It's been there's been some insincerity there. There's a lack of reality as well because we have no pentacles. You know, there's no pentacles here, there's no stability, there's no security, there's no reality. But you do have an exciting opportunity, you know, with this ace of wands to start with a clean slate, but it does it is it is heartbreaking. Okay, it's a heartbreaking opportunity because it caught it comes from you know, a separation. This is a painful separation. And this is realizing something. So you are realizing something. Okay, this is a this is definitely going to be a week of enlightenment for you. There's been some stagnation. And now this is the worst thing that could absolutely happen is happening, whatever it is. Six of Swords, somebody's leaving. They're going someplace that's moving on. Somebody's leaving. I mean, that's what the Six of Swords is. That's leaving. That's going. That's that's taking the high road, okay? It's getting out of here. It's leaving the trouble behind. There's been some mental conflict. There's been conflict, period. This is this is goodbye, right? Deciding to take a new approach, going in a new direction. Somebody's leaving. And I feel like that's what hurts the most. It's a time of transition. Somebody may be moving away. And it hurts. It really, 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 really hurts. So I feel like you're going to be in your feelings. I think that you're going to be in feelings in your feelings because something gets revealed. Somebody 
is moving. They're moving away. Um, there's a, there's, this is, I mean, the Ace of Wands is an exciting a new direction. So somebody is moving towards, you know, more, more something that is more fertile, right? Going through a new door. But, but it does hurt. It definitely hurts. King of Pentacles reverse could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that has been unfaithful. There's been, or they've been uh, not interested. They're not interested in a relationship. They are more focused on their business, their job, their money, or there's some sort of disloyalty here with the King of Pentacles reversed. Somebody has done something that they that wasn't practical, that wasn't realistic. And now and now there's a loss. Some this is a lost opportunity. Somebody has lost an opportunity. There's been a lack of discipline here. Somebody has, hasn't been able to find their discipline to control themselves. Somebody has done something, you know, that they shouldn't have done. And now they have, they've made their bed. Now they got to lie in it. This is a ruthless individual. So we have a ruthless individual that is, uh, I don't know, we have some serious pain on both sides of this individual. We have somebody here that is hurting. So we have somebody here that is hurting. They may be, they may be um, deciding to go in another direction because they're so, in so much pain. There's pain right here. There's a lot of heartache here. Ace of Wands is, is a new de, a new desire, a new passion, deciding to just go for it. We have somebody here that gets this new desire to face some sort of challenge. Three of Pentacles. Now, work together with other people. Make new friends. Put in effort. We have somebody here that is about to put in effort. They're about to show what they have to offer. It feels like they're about to show something. Somebody is going to show something. They may enlighten another person. There, there's definitely enlightenment coming this week. But I think we have somebody here that is hurting that may show something. Could we have something to do with a third party? May have something to do with communication. I don't know if there's been some sort of third party communication or whatever that gets revealed this week. Could be. There's going to be some sort of co collaboration and communication between a few people. We have three people that are going to be working together and communicating. Or they have been working together. They may have been working behind the scenes as well. But there is some sort of heartbreak here over a loss. Somebody is heartbroken. Pro could be over a third party situation. is moving away deciding to go and leave the pain behind so somebody is deciding to go they're deciding to just go or maybe deciding to work with other people 
and go through a new door. They may get there. This could be the Ace of Wands can be a new partner. Okay, it could be a new partner. Somebody may have a new partner here, or they may have had. This could be a sexual partner. They may have had a sexual partner or something like that, and that gets revealed. I'm not sure, but it certainly could be the case. There is definitely an opportunity waiting. There's a door that is about to open. Somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve. Well, you reap what you sow. So, heading in a new direction, headed towards balance and harmony. We have an individual that is saying goodbye to a painful situation. They're going after what they deserve. They're looking for somebody that is going to work with them and reciprocate. There is a very generous offer that is coming through as well. Somebody is going to be getting a generous offer that um, it could be very sudden. There could be a, a, a sudden um, opportunity that comes in. They didn't expect it, but here it is. A gift. Somebody is receiving an offer or a gift that is going to lead them down a new path. It feels like it's bittersweet though with that Three of Swords right there. This is taking a journey. We have somebody here that is transitioning out of a painful situation that they have been hanging on to this is liberation it's freedom we also may have somebody here that causes some trouble and that causes the move This is a card of bravery, courage, strength, control, mastering emotions. We have somebody here that is very brave, that is very strong. This person is fearless. We have somebody here that is going to be receiving something that breaks them free and they have the strength to move on somebody is moving on from a painful situation that you know really 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 hurt them put it that way this is going to a better place headed towards balance and harmony so we have a strong person that is moving they're moving they're starting with a clean slate they're going through a new door now, I don't know if it's you or the person that you're dealing with but I feel like this week you are about to become enlightened over who this is whether it's you or the person you're dealing with something that has been hidden is going to be revealed and it, it could even cause anger here with that Knight of Swords reverse. We could have, we could have, you know, somebody that gets very, very, very angry over this move because this is a move. Somebody has made a move, something like that. You've made your bed. Now you need to lie on it, right? So, Cancer, I feel like there's going to be a move this week, but there's moving towards balance. There's moving towards harmony. You're going to need to find your strength and your courage to deal with it.
You may be thinking about everything that has happened this week. Maybe somebody's moving away and you're thinking about everything that has happened. Queen of Swords could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is somebody that is very hard to deal with. Once their mind is made up, their mind is made up. Um, this is somebody that is very brash, very authentic, um, does not deal with lies, may put you on the spot. I feel like you're, 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 you may be feeling intimidated by another person this week. I feel like you're going to be dealing with an individual that is really going to put you on the spot this week. You may be challenged. I think we have an individual here that has a very, very, very sharp tongue. And there's probably going to be some nasty words that are said. This person does not care. They don't care about your feelings, okay? They're hurt. So we have somebody here that is definitely hurt. And they're going to be reacting out of their pain. Somehow, you're involved. Good luck.